And that's where that conversation starts. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, that sultry, wow. silky, smooth, succulent voice you heard right there. <laughs> Never mind the messaging that was on point, but did you hear the tone of that voice? Yep. <laughs> you might recognize it from Girl's Best Friend if I dig in my crates. You may remember that voice on maybe perhaps that particular. You remember that song, right, Rich? Nice. Absolutely. Okay, it could have been um, so many ways you could recognize this voice. Listen, baby, I'm going way, way, way back. I'm going way, way back. She's been wow. responsible for pinning a lot of great music for a lot of great artists mm-hmm. um, throughout her career. Uh, she's become a, a critically acclaimed author, t- tapping in on a subject matter that affects us all in our community, but we very seldom talk about it, mm-hmm. blended families. Yep. We just kind of walk along the way and deal with whatever we have to deal with. She's been very open about her own past and her relationships with the legendary Swiss Beats and um, all the great things that they've been able to produce, including a kid together. Uh, I watched her over the quarantine, Tracy G. I watched her become this super curator of art, and I was like a fine art, so <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I knew she had an eye for valuables. Before Before COVID that, too. Before COVID, right? <laughs> um, and so she continues to shine. And she does it independently, and now she's back. You know, this woman has penned a lot of great songs, has sang a lot of great songs, has made her mark overseas, internationally, and now she's back. She had a thirst to get back in the studio, and Mm -hmm. what she's done for others, Mike Muse, Yes, she said, why not do it for myself? There you have it. She needed to express something, and... Text messaging didn't do it, Tracy. <laughs> no. <laughs> and don't fulfill the desire, man. <laughs> so she wrote a song called Forbidden Fruit. And in it, she says it tastes like honey and water. Wow. Welcome I... her back to the show. <laughs> Mashonda. Yeah, Mashonda. Yeah. Yeah. This is what you had waiting yes. for you in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I know you would say that line? Because, <laughs> yeah. listen, every song needs a hook. That's what they teach you in the game, right, Rich? Yes. You work with track yeah. masters. You, you you saw Mashonda when she was still a member of a group. Early. Early on. Early. What was it called? Desert? Desert Rose. Wow. Yeah. Desert Rose. You remember Rose. that? Of course. I mean, it was so interesting because I always saw you as a creative person, but you always was a little ahead of everybody wow. else. Mm. So even having that name, Desert Rose, it was just it always stuck out because Thank you never you. think of a rose growing in the desert. Right. And then you see these pretty girls, but they're doing like rugged music, but still melodic mm. at the same that time. That is amazing. Early, <laughs> before most even caught on to that. And so, you know, low key, y'all were the reason why we created a lore. Oh my God! Oh, damn! Amazing. Damn! Wow. Did that you know that? Amazing. I did not know that. So Desert Rose, I'm, I got that. That name came to me because I'm from Harlem, right? But I'm also super feminine, and I love you know dressing up and and being a rose. But I'm also from Harlem, so we know what that means. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, God, that was that's amazing. That was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank well, you. Do you reflect back on your career at all? You know. Much? Or you just keep moving I, forward? I'm such a forward-moving person that I forget. I forget a lot of the records I've done. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I hear them, I'm like, oh, shit, I wrote that or I sang that. But for me, I think that's how that's just how I operate. Mm-hmm. And it works for me. But it's also always refreshing to hear something that I've done like 10, almost 20 years ago and, and just have like that proud moment. Mm. What song is that, that ha- had had that effect on you most that you worked on? You know what's crazy? Um, the Honey I See You song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that we just played. Yeah. <laughs> that record was a freestyle that I literally like got in the studio one day, probably in like 2004 or five. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I just want to, I just want to play with this Buster song, you know, like get me the instrumental. I'm going to just write a quick freestyle and record it. And we had a studio at that time, so I could do stuff like that easily. Mm-hmm. In 2021, my son walked in my room and he was like, Ma, you're viral on TikTok. And I was like, what, do you, what is that? What does that even mean? <laughs> uh-huh. And <laughs> he was like, he sent me the link. And I was like, oh, my God, like there are millions and millions and millions of people from all over the world interacting with this song that it's just a freestyle. And I did it when I was a kid. And that just like inspired me so much to like, figure out this new way that music works. Yeah. Um, I didn't make any money on that, though, because it was a freestyle. Okay. But if 
if it was my publishing, I would be so paid by that right now yeah. because <laughs> it blew up. So it inspired me also to go and remake it. Mm. So I did remake it. That's what you guys just played. Okay. And that did really well. So it's, it's, I mean, I feel like songwriters are so underrated, but you know, we, we really do create the foundation uh -huh. for everything. Mm -hmm. When you, when you got your Warner, what was it? Warner Chapel music. That was yes. your first publishing deal, right? That was 1997. I signed 1997. Wow. Did you? have a see publishing is a great way where a lot of people have stole from us absolutely right especially hip-hop artists and r&b artists mm -hmm. did you understand publishing at that time when you signed it yeah i had somebody sit me down okay. and um go over it but what i didn't know <laughs> was that i was pretty much signing my life away for fifty thousand dollars um and mm. at the time, I mean, 50000 still sounds like a yeah, lot. But when right you now. Right? <laughs> but when you are assigned to someone, to a company for over damn near 20 years, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I want my freedom. Mm. So I had to fight. I fought. I got out of it recently. Okay, congratulations. Uh, thank you. So I own all my publishing again. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a big deal. Okay. Congratulations, right? yeah. I didn't understand. And so I do recommend for artists and writers to sit down with a lawyer and have them really explain what all those terms mean. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so will you say it tastes like honey and water? Here you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, at some point, did that lyric, uh, should I take that literally? Yes, because that's something that was said to me. Oh, oh. shit. Mm. Oh. It comes with receipts. Hold up, man. Wow. Oh, time to pop the ball. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. 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 That was said to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's okay, yo. Wow. Give that round of applause. Oh, that was a God. quote. Wow. Honey and water, yo. That's wow. like raw honey. And you know, when I put that in the song, I was like, I'm going to catch some heat for this, but it's all good. Was that flattering, though? Is that flattering when someone says that? Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Tastes like honey and water. Yeah. Mm. Somebody make me some tea. <laughs> <laughs> nourishing. Very nourishing. It's so stupid. So that is awesome. Forbidden fruit is yes. such a great. We had a whole conversation about forbidden Did fruit you? this morning. Yeah. Wow. What makes fruit forbidden? What mm. makes it forbidden? Right. Mm -hmm. Um. What is anything forbidden about you? Forbidden. I don't think so. Okay. I think that um, what inspired that record was that. We treat the conversation of sex and all the the beautiful things about it as a taboo, uh -huh. right? Like the conversation may be really uncomfortable for some people um, when it's clearly the most natural thing humans can do. Uh -huh. um, so I wanted to, to write a song that celebrates that, makes it conversational for the man and the woman. Um, it can be, you know, Two women. It could. It can go either way you want it to. Yeah. Um. And really, just I feel like R and B has lost that that finesse where mm, you can yeah. say the, the nastiest shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and the sweetest, the sweetest way. way. Yes. Yeah. And that's forbidden fruit. I agree. Wow. You could say the nastiest <laughs> yeah. shit. Mashonda, thank you for saying that. Because yeah. if I say it, it sounds different you coming from a man, yes. right? For real. You yeah. can say the nastiest shit as right? sweet as it want to be. Like, I don't want to sing about my, my pussy. I don't want to just yeah. say the word. Like, I want to... Put some sweet adjectives on it. You know, make it mysterious and... Yeah. What's it like, Mashonda? Honey and water. <laughs> That's yes. it. That. Let your mind do the rest of the figuring out. So that, yeah. Mashonda, what do you... Because we already know from your lyrics what is really extra popping about you, mm -hmm. but what would be your request in terms of a man and a lot of citizens were asking earlier when we said that you were coming through is she single they wanted that confirmed mm -hmm. right, the relationship right, right. status so i feel like the the, the world the hip-hop r&b the the blogs the websites they think i've been single since my divorce mm -hmm. i'm so super private i don't post i won't post um i barely talk like sometimes people could tell if there's a guy with me from the way the photo is um, but I just prefer privacy. Um, the EP, though, it's called Note to Self, and um, there are five records. Four of them are actually, um, I call them audio documents of relationships that I've been in over the past five years. 
Mm -hmm. um, situations. Ooh, sorry. Situations that. Yeah, that's for averaging that, of one a year. Mm -hmm. Something like that. <laughs> it could be situationships. Situationships. Yeah. Yeah. A, a couple of those. We okay. are grown. Okay. We are grown. All right. Cool. Um, but for me, I guess the ideal man. <sighs> Would he be bi coastal? I wouldn't mind. Okay. Long distance relationships work well okay. for me. Okay. Um, definitely someone who is confident humble respectful transparent mm -hmm. meaning that the communication is really good uh -huh. um you know loving just nurturing I, I i like all the things but i do think what trumps it is someone that is going to support me and allow me to support them and we can really move as a unit Mm -hmm. oh, that was beautiful. So she good. described yes. the perfect person. He doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> the hell out of here, Mashonda. What you want? The unicorn man. You just we write do. movies. The <laughs> unicorn. We yes. do. Well, you saying that's he that's don't that. exist. Well, I feel like Mashonda. A lot of women um, believe that if you were to date someone in entertainment, and not to say that's someone you would have your eye on, but folks would th think you know you being of a certain status that this man would have to come and like match your fly but a lot of women who feel like the man that's out there who has everything you would have to let him get a couple permission slips to do what so to say oh i'm not giving permission slips oh. okay but that's why i'm still single okay because i'm really happy uh -huh. on my own i'm really happy having interactions and um dating or you know coming together and separating in building, but when, like, I don't want to say my patience is low, but I do have kind of a low tolerance for people that aren't, I guess the best way to put it is um, people that can't see their bullshit and okay. that aren't willing to work on it. Mm. Mm. Right. You know, right. Like wow. every, That's most men. <laughs> no, I'm just and I'm not saying I don't have shit. We all have shit, but you have to call yourself out. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going to call you out. I'm, I have one son. Uh -huh. And I'm going to call him out. I'm not calling a grown man out. Uh -huh. Like, if you can't see that what you just did was fucked up, I'm not going to pull you aside and be like, yo. You're not teaching him. I'm not teaching anybody right uh -huh. now. I did that way too much. Uh -huh. And my days for teaching men are over. That's your red flag. That's, yeah. That's and that's a... another thing. You got to pay attention to those flags. Uh -huh. mm. Give me another one, just right. in case. <laughs> <laughs> Would I want that to be done to me? Mm -hmm. I tell you a red flag I had once. We could all jump in on this conversation. Um, I was going out with someone, and I distinctly remember um, going out for a meal. Mm -hmm. And the person came, and it was a waitress that was serving us and asking us what did we want. And I noticed that the person would not make eye contact yep. with the waitress. That's rude. Oh my gosh, it was so it was bothering me so much because I'm total opposite, right? Yeah. And so, and the waitress asking, "What do you want?" The person wouldn't even look up when they were ordering. <sighs> and then the the waitress unfortunately got something wrong, and the person went off on the waitress. Aye, aye, aye. Never looked at the waitress. Mm -hmm. I rude. I didn't know if I should say anything or not, uh, but I eventually did say anything. Hey, what's did you did you have a problem with that person? Mm -hmm. You know, because I actually used to do that as a living, right? right. So what made, you, what made you, your energy go, go that way? Uh, they didn't really have a, they didn't realize they did it. Oh, my. That was a red flag for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I never right went right. out with that person again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just because of the way they treated someone else. It's a big thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing. I pay attention to how people treat their family. Yep. Mm -hmm. How they treat their friends, how they talk about other people. You know, it's, it's. We are who we are at this age. Yes, it, it, true, it, true indeed. There's yeah. no, yeah. there's no teaching someone to change people have to change on their own so let's do this Mashonda hanging out I like where this conversation <laughs> is going yes. we're gonna pop up but Mashonda brought a gift hey, hey. We'll do that. yo yo Ty get this gift right here for me if you don't mind man I know you over there feeling guilty because <laughs> she's naming your, oh, your personality yeah y'all this red flag <laughs> I got this right here okay let's pop this bottle and then we're going to play for bit and fruit and open yes. up these phone lines yes. and, and let Mike and Rich and everybody jump in on this yes. conversation 888-742-3345. You go out, like, on island dates, you know? Of course. Yeah? Of course, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Do you sway? Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't know. I don't post either. Right? <laughs> and you're transparent. And I'm transparent. <laughs> Confident. Forbidden fruit. It's a new song by Mashonda. It's out right now on all DSPs. She is an exceptional songwriter, singer, producer, author, mother, single woman. <laughs> Most important. Oh, Yo, right. Mashonda, you got you got game like a guy though. When wow. a game not with any negative connotation, but you know the the, the, the type of precautions you take and how you date. Yeah. It's how we usually think for the wrong reasons, but you're, you're doing it for the right reasons. <laughs> so what do you mean by the wrong reasons? Right, what are well, your you red know, flags? Well, you know, we kind of keep, uh, well, let me, not, let me not Speak do a blank. Thank you. Speak that was yourself. a blanket statement. <laughs> a lot of my apprehension in the back in the day, <laughs> mm -hmm. my precautionary measures was because I wasn't being straightforward, perhaps, right? And I didn't want my business out there mm -hmm. to mess up my other yeah, business, other business. Got out you. there. Mm -hmm. got you. That was the younger me, Mashonda. Mm -hmm. Now I don't have the <laughs> mental capacity to do that kind no. of musical chairs and juggling I once did. It takes a lot of energy. Yeah. yeah. Um. You you ever step out on a relationship? No. You mean like cheat? Yeah. yeah. Nah. I don't do that. Okay. Is that why you have loyalty on your hand like this? This is loyalty for myself. Okay. Yeah, this is self loyalty. I had to remind myself that I need to be loyal to me first. Okay. Wow. Yeah. All right. Wow. You got that nice, calming voice, uh, Mashonda. Sean's on the line. <laughs> Sean, say hi to Mashonda. Hey, Sean. <laughs> hi. What's going on, Mashonda? How you doing? Oh, I am blessed. I am blessed. What's going on, that. Sway? What up, fam? The whole team. I love y'all. I got. I got shape. J45 for y'all. Listen, um, I wanted to unpack that line that uh, tastes like honey and water. Um, I, are you saying like it's something that's sweet, but it's also something that you need like water in your life? You know what I mean? Is that what you're saying? Because I think that's beautiful. Wow. Well, yep. It could be that too. Mm hmm. See, that was told to her, Sean, so she don't really know. Right. She just took the compliment, right. Sean. But you can interpret it. That's the beauty Absolutely. of art. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, then that, that's how I'm taking it. I like I like that line. Tastes like honey and water. I'm going to use yes. that. Pure, pure <laughs> and like sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I like that. Okay, Rich, you want to jump yeah. in here and say something to Mashonda? Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, Mashonda and I, this is like brother, sister for so many years. Love it. It's so, mm -hmm. been so... Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about music just because, okay. you know, you make so much music from the past till now. Um, what What is a song that was big, a hit, that mm -hmm. you wish you wrote? Someone else's song. Someone else's song that probably. you just love so much that you wish you wrote it. Probably. Um, I, I mean, every time it comes on, I get excited. Probably Aaliyah's One in a Million. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. If I wrote that, you wouldn't be able to tell me shit. Nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Such a brilliant record, especially for the time that it came out. It was way ahead of its time. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Who, who were those artists out at the time when you when you first came out? Who What class were you considered a part of? Well, um, you mean when I first started, like, really writing those, those big records? Mm -hmm. So that was um, 2000. The, the era was, I'd say, 99 to mm -hmm. probably like 2004. So that's Maya. Maya. I wrote Best of Me uh -huh. with Maya. Um, Incredible record. Yeah. Um, Monifa. I wrote the Monifa records. Uh -huh. um, I mean, Faith, Evan and, Faith Evans and Mary were doing their thing really big uh -huh. during that time, but I didn't write any of those. I wish I did. Yeah, okay. Um, it was such a good time for R and B, though. Mm -hmm. Like, there were so many good songs mm -hmm. during that era. Has your writing process changed? Totally. Yeah, yeah. From what to what? Um, for more fun and bubbly to to this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I grew up. I lived lots of life, so mm -hmm. things have changed. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the truth about me, huh? <laughs> right. Right. You know, it's. And it's good. You have to evolve. You have to evolve, yeah. right? Um, and, and you you're evolving on your own terms. Totally. Which which um, which is dope mm -hmm. to me, Mike Muse. Yeah, you said something earlier, Michelle. I'm curious about that. You said that you know 
TikTok when your son came in told you you went viral and, and you said something that really stood out to me. You said it was good to see people experience that song. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious now as you jump back in, uh, mm -hmm. now that you got inspired again to, to jump back in, I feel like the music industry is, is changes now almost every year. The yeah. business of it, how people experience it. What is your thought process is as you are shaping this this project, this EP, and you're about to build on more? Like, how are you thinking about it now? Is it intimidating? It is intimidating. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to do um, reels and TikToks. <laughs> I, I'm being forced, <laughs> and so it's like that's what you have to do to um, to gain engagement. Everything is numbers. Mm -hmm. Like, they want to see your likes. They want to see your streams. And that's just not my world. So I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. And that's why I create music, because I love to. Right. I don't look at the numbers. If they like it, they like it. If they don't, that's fine. Um, but I know I love it. You mm -hmm. know, I know I really love it. And I love creating. I just, I love sharing it. I'm, it's, it's also, um, it's easy to just become, I guess, unmotivated and mm -hmm. uninspired when numbers aren't going your way. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of artists struggle with that. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. the vanity right. metrics. It's, right. And I'm not here for any of hmm. those, yeah. that part. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's um, that ain't in your wheelhouse. Mm -mm. Right. I'm curious, there's a movement going on right now with the artists taking back their copyright and their masters, right? I'm thinking about Sierra. Right, mm -hmm. unless she took back her own, mm -hmm. she owns all of her masters. You own your own publishing a, as of recent. Right. Think about what Prince said, and Prince says that the reason why he fought so hard was to allow him the freedom of how its platform and how he went to release his music. Yep, yeah. You owning your own publishing now, does that give you the freedom in spite of what they're they're looking for right now in terms of metrics and likes? Owning your own publishing, does that balance out the need for all this new mechanisms of well, music? I think that it, it, it definitely allows you to have control over your legacy, mm. which is, I think, the most important. Um, I mean, you don't need labels anymore, right? And a lot of artists, artists know that. So they do everything independently, which also is challenging, you know, because mm. it all falls back on you, which I'm mm. learning. So mm. you also have to have money to create and market, which is another another issue or challenge but you have cr you have control you don't have somebody telling you well you got to go do this and you have to go do that or you know we can't put out this record you can put out whatever you want um the music industry is just completely different yeah mm -hmm. very different it's yeah. a whole new world right. so yeah. I, I, i'm a sorry i'm a huge art enthusiast um in the nft space and stuff and i know that you've been cu curating art mm -hmm. have you considered using, you know, now that you have your publishing and own what you have mm -hmm. to create, have you considered releasing in an NFT space? I played in NFTs for a little bit. I'm not, it's not really my my platform. I'm more, more um, visual art, more, uh, you know, actual, I like canvas. I like to hang work on the wall. Um, I love, I love painters and I love photographers. So I work mostly with, with that form. Um, but I, I would totally be down to do like an NFT for a video or album cover. Um, I think they're fun. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't understand them as much yet because it's not what I, it's not what I play in, but you know, we'll just see, we'll see where it goes. Mm -hmm. Mashonda's here. We're talking about our new song is called Forbidden Fruit. Forbidden Fruit. Mm, mm, yes. Mm. So what would you um how, how what's your what's your stance you've been married before what's your stance on marriage now is that something you see for yourself yeah i yeah. love marriage marriage is great when it's great okay yeah, yeah. um i i i got married really young mm -hmm. you know i got married when i was 25 i didn't know who i was he didn't know who he was we were babies and mm -hmm. we were heavy in the midst of the music industry mm -hmm. so there were a lot of distractions and um, but now as a grown woman, it's like, totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is it about marriage? Because so many people, it makes them shudder. What is it about for um, you that makes you soften up? There's um, there's like a security. Mm -hmm. There's like, you know, you have your person. I like having my person, you know. Um, and there's just like, uh, you can go home 
and that person's <laughs> there. You gotta like the person, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 more important than yes. them. You go yes. home with the more important. There. No, yes. l- like you could love somebody and not like them. Yeah. Yeah. You have to really like the person. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's taking me time because I'm not. I, ha- I want to like you a lot. You could love somebody, but not like them. Yeah, 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 especially family members. Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. 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 Can you learn to like them, though? Then you, I don't know about the learning. You know, I feel like it's um, it's a natural thing. Uh-huh. Chemistry. Because usually, usually when you have to learn to like something, you can also learn to unlike it or or naturally just not really like it. I don't know. Yeah. There's a mm-hmm. lot of work that goes mm-hmm. into the maintenance of it now. Yeah. I'm curious, have you, even when it comes to relationships, but this first came to mind off Mike Muse, just thinking about how all the technology changes, how are you able to decipher when you should be moving outside of your comfort zone and when this is a scenario when you should be honoring your standards? Mm. So the comfort zone thing is really big for me because I can tell when I'm getting bored. And that's usually, all right, you have to do something new. You have to do something that you've never done. That That's uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, and that that's also what happens with this project. Because I was, you know, not to say I was getting bored with, with what I was doing career-wise, but I was like, it's not going to be comfortable. Things are different. You're older now. No one, you know, some people remember you, but this generation, they don't know who you are. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. They might not accept you. They might, but you never know. So that's uncomfortable. But you just have to. You just have to do what. What you. I'm also a really deep feeler. Yeah. You have mm-hmm. to do what feels good. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we've learned that this generation has accepted you. You've already been viral Yay. on TikTok. So Yay. congratulations, yes. Mashonda. Thank you, generation. <laughs> <laughs> so we've learned that Mashonda needs constant growth yes. or she'll get bored and yes. that's why we have note to self yep. yes. as this project that's coming out when the ep drops the second week of september second week of september yes. we we learned that she has to like you and not just love you right yes. round of applause for that mm-hmm. absolutely we, we learned that you she will do a, a island getaway with you and she will and nobody has to know because she right. She's not going to And if I like yeah. you, I'll take you on the island. Damn game. it. Oh, you better watch out. Come on, modern day women. We learned that too. Hold yeah. on, hold on. <laughs> women, take notes. I like yes. that. You yes. do that, you yes. would treat, Absolutely. you would take care of the trip. Of course. I've done that before. For a special occasion or just for like spontaneity If sake? I want to go away and I'm like, hey, you want to join? Yeah. Is that nice. is that flight mm-hmm. and hotel? <laughs> well, I'll, it's usually just the hotel. Like if I'm already oh. in the situation of the hotel... The <laughs> Come on, if you, if you, if you want to join, fly out and meet me. Yeah, yeah. You don't, you you don't have to pay nothing. for anything. Because well, you, you, know? you already got the hotel, so yeah. it all works out. That works out. Food? Get, get yourself there. Food? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she bringing the honey and water, man. Chill <laughs> out. You're right <laughs> about <laughs> that. And that's the, and, hey, and that's the, <laughs> and that's the other thing we learned. Maybe the most important thing we learned. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's that it tastes like yeah. honey and water. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. But listen, it better Warm be coming with monogamy, okay? <laughs> coming with monogamy and loyalty. Yes, right. To herself. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. That's mm-hmm. okay. What else would we learn? How long before you introduce somebody to your son? Very Great. long. Very yeah. long. Very Over long. a year? Uh, about probably probably eight months. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I agree mm-hmm. with that. That's how I, I, I have a daughter. Mm-hmm. So I, you just can't. You can't play. Plus she going to peel you apart anyway. They older exactly. now. So they're going to. My gonna, son does it, not play. Yeah. Yeah. I see. He's a talented guy. Thank you. Very mm-hmm. talented. Yes, he is. Incredible. Yes, thank you so much. All right. So what else? Will you cook? You cook. Mm-hmm. You see me? I can tell you cook. So we learned a lot about Mashonda. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question about some art. Okay. Yeah. I was in my mind too. Who is your favorite artist right now? Your famous, your favorite painter right now? now mm. of the new not like the Basquiat because of course we of love course. the Basquiat's oh and God. we love, love those guys Basquiat. Um, uh, you like Sue Tai I believe right um I have never worked with Sue um I have so many though mm-hmm. gosh like who, who who would you hang right now uh in in your studio in your new recording studio who, yeah. would, who would be the first you would hang 
I would totally hang a Kehende. Mm. Kehende. Yes. yes that's a Kehende good choice. Wiley. Gorgeous yes. work. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Incredible work. Milton Bowen. Are you familiar? He's out of Oakland. Mm-mm. Get, get, I'm going um, to shoot you some of Send Milton's. me some so, images, so yes. Some it, it's, uh, it's curated by the name of Kelly Pascal mm-hmm. Hunter. Okay. Up in Oakland who has, she was the first person, this is the irony of this, first person ever talked to me about art was her back in the 90s. She mm-hmm. had a gallery in Jack London Square in Oakland where I'm from. Second person was Swiss. We sat on a plane for five hours. I think he might have just been getting into it, and that's all he talked about. Mm-hmm. And then from there, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, yeah, let's do some of art. <laughs> five <laughs> hours, you, you said, know, right? <laughs> the whole plane ride. Right? That sounds <laughs> accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I was very enlightened. Mm-hmm. But Milton Bowen is an artist out of Oakland who's done a lot of I'll send it to you. Okay. He, he, he should definitely be uh, be uh, around Mashonda, honey yeah. and water. All right. Um I want to thank you for coming. <laughs> no, don't get distracted this way. Oh, my God. I'm joking with you. But listen, you got a great project going. Thank you. We love when you come up here. You yes, made it. Do. See how easy that was? Yes. Yes. You're not going to keep me out. Not at all. So I say we pop this bottle. Let's do it. Let's get yes. some, um, yes. some um, Let's celebrate this new single. Okay. Forbidden yes. Fruit, available Thank everywhere. You. Let's play the new single again, man. Let's play the new Beautiful. single again. All right. And then I'm going to pop this bottle. And we're going to end the show with the new single. Rich, how can they work uh, reach you? Uh, on Instagram and Twitter, the a Room, the letter A, the letter N, the letter R, the word room. And be sure to go to our Instagram. We have a brunch that we're getting ready to do. Uh, well, my nephew's doing a brunch, and I'm going to be there. And it's going to be their third one. It's a gala. You wear, like, fancy sneakers, and you dress up. And it's, okay. and it's hot. It's banging. I've I seen it's all over Instagram. you got to check it out. Okay. So go to our Instagram. Go to the a Room Instagram. Cheers. Um, the letter A, the letter N, the letter R, the word room. Nice. Right. Mike, and send us new music, please. Okay, Mike Muse. Yo, citizens, hit me up at I am Mike Muse, M U S N Sam E on Twitter and Instagram. Yes, what can they find on your Instagram, Mike Muse? Hey, go check out my reel that I just posted so you can see the 100 year celebration of my fraternity, Kappa Alpha Psi Sigma chapter Woo! anniversary. It's all there. Baby. Congrats. Centennial. Thank you. Mike was a host. Thank you. Yes, he was. Yes. Citizens, find me on Twitter, Instagram, at it's Tracy G I T S T R A C Y G. Love ya. Okay, Mashonda, how can they find? You? you can find me at Mashonda Tafrere, M A S H O N D A T I F R E R E. And for the art, you can go to Art Leader at A R T L E A D H E R on Instagram. Beautiful. All right, I need my cup and then. Yes, also make sure you follow Heather B. Maybe she'll be posting some behind the scenes from her vacay at the happy hour WHB on Twitter and Instagram. Not if she's like Mashonda, she don't post them. <laughs> <on vacation. laughs> Nobody has to know. Ah, Sway, where can they find you? I'm at Real Sway across the board. Make sure you go to Sway's Universe. You can catch all these interviews yep. and go on demand here at Sirius XM. And here's a toast to Mashonda. Yes. Yes. Cheers. 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 So happy for you. Here's the forbidden fruit. Here's the note to self and yes. all the amazing things that she's doing. Yes. yes. And, and, and just having a great post on life. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So Absolutely. Very proud of you. And on that note, we're going to end with her new single. And we have nothing left to say. <laughs>